Korea appears to be stepping up its nuclear development. A Russian military expert projects Pyongyang may develop 50 nuclear weapons by 2020. South Jola Province is struggling with a highly pathogenic avian influenza outbreak just days ahead of the Chuseok holiday when Koreans travel most. And the movie Veteran has drawn the largest number of moviegoers this year, outdoing assassination and becoming sixth in Korean box office history. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Tuesday, September 22nd. I'm Luke Clary. We begin with a report that North Korea is stepping up its nuclear weapons development. A Russian military expert projected that North Korea would likely develop 50 nuclear weapons by 2020. A panel discussion on the political situation surrounding the Korean Peninsula took place to mark the 10th anniversary of the adoption of the September 19th Joint Declaration in which the North promised to denuclearize. A Russian military authority claimed that North Korea would essentially be nuclear capable by 2020. The FCF said it generally takes two to three years to develop submarine-based missiles, but North Korea would take about five years. He also projected that the situation would worsen if policies provoking the North, such as South Korea-U.S. joint military drills, continue. However, he said conditional negotiations are possible. Meanwhile, South Korea's National Defense Ministry believes that the North already possesses six to seven nuclear weapons and its technology of downsizing nuclear warheads has markedly advanced. Although the six-party nuclear talks could be instrumental in resolving the North Korean nuclear issue, some panelists also pointed out that South Korea's role is more crucial. Seoul has clarified its stance on speculation that Japanese self-defense forces may enter the Korean peninsula following the recent changes in Japan's security-related laws. Seoul says that it has the right even to deny a potential request from Washington to let Japanese forces enter the Korean Peninsula. With regard to the controversial changes in Japan's defense legislation, Seoul made it clear that Japan's self-defense forces are not allowed to enter the Korean Peninsula without Korea's request or consent. However, concerns remain that Japan's self-defense forces could penetrate the Korean Peninsula indirectly with the help of Washington which appears to have inwardly welcomed the amendment of Japan's security-related laws. South Korea's defense minister Han Min-gu brushed away the speculations by clarifying Seoul's stance once again. The defense minister's statement emphasizes that Japan's self-defense forces are not allowed to enter Korea without the consent of the South Korean president. The minister went on to draw a clear line on the possibility of the Japanese forces entering North Korea. Han said that Seoul never agreed to let the Japanese forces enter North Korea without its consent. At a senior presidential secretary's meeting, President Park Geun-hye emphasized that Korea's sovereign credit rating has never been higher, reiterating her resolve to break away from economic pessimism and spur on reforms. President Park Geun-hye said Korea's record-high global credit rating can be attributed to the world recognizing Korea's efforts to energize its economy and carry out reforms. She said the Korean economy performed better than other economies despite difficult conditions and pledged to break away from economic pessimism while carrying out reforms and expanding potential areas of growth. 
비관과 비판의 늪에서 빠져나와서 경제 체질을 바꾸고 혁신을 이루어서 제2의 도약을 이루어내야 할 것입니다. She stressed the labor reform is the most urgent task at hand, and the recently concluded trilateral agreement among labor, management, and the government would be complete only after the five bills concerning labor reform are promptly passed. President Park also became the first donor to the Youth Hope Fund, as she promised. The money will go to support various job projects for young people. The Youth Hope Fund will be operated as a public trust with tax deduction benefits. People can make donations through five commercial banks. President Park invited representatives of the labor, management, and government sectors to the presidential office of Cheongwa-dae for a luncheon and asked them to work together to create jobs for Korea's youths. South Jilla province has been struggling with a highly pathogenic avian influenza outbreak just days ahead of the Chuseok holiday when many people are expected to travel from region to region. The highly pathogenic AI virus has been detected in ducks sold at traditional markets in Damyang and Gwangju. The region is reeling from the culling of ducks in the Naju and Gangjin areas due to an outbreak of the same virus. This store at a traditional market in Gwangju sells hens and ducks. Although demand for poultry is always high ahead of the Chuseok holiday, the chicken coop is empty now and the store is closed. Instead, disinfection of poultry stores in the area is in full swing. Avian influenza virus was detected in the feces of ducks sold at the market on September 19th. It has been found to be a highly pathogenic strain of bird flu virus. The Ministry of Food, Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries is zeroing in on the fact that some of the ducks from Naju and Kangjin poultry farms that have been diagnosed with AI on September 18th might have been supplied to the market. With the successive outbreaks of avian influenza at duck farms and a traditional market, concerns are rising that the virus may spread further ahead of the Chuseok holiday, when many people are expected to travel. We're only a few days away from Chuseok, the busiest time of the year for Korea's transportation networks. A study on traffic accidents that occurred during the Chuseok holiday shows that it's more dangerous driving out of town than returning home. Vehicles quickly swerve to avoid an accident ahead, but this car, unable to avert the accident in time, crashes into the collided cars. The second accident was caused by a sleepy driver. An experiment with special equipment demonstrates how dangerous drowsy driving can be. When driving normally, the driver's vision spots appear in the front, but the spots disappear when the driver's eyes are closed. That means the driver cannot see what's in front of him. An analysis of some 10,000 traffic accidents that occurred during the past seven Chuseok holidays showed that more accidents occurred when people left town than when they returned home. In particular, more than half of the accidents were caused by carelessness, such as drowsy driving, sudden lane changes, and using mobile phones while driving. So, when driving over long distances, it's recommended that drivers listen to real-time traffic information to depart at the least congested times. Also, frequently airing out cars and eating light snacks like nuts help drivers stay awake on the road. Subway trains decorated with the images of characters from the popular cartoon Larva gained popularity among young passengers. Recently, trains featuring information on how to prevent dementia have debuted on the Seoul subway. It will operate for two months on the subway line number seven. This train has been transformed into a clinic. Doctors in white gowns show up. The walls of the train are covered with posters on how to prevent dementia and Alzheimer's disease. 
They contain information on a smartphone app that provides help to patients and the contact number of an Alzheimer's consultation center. <laughs> Each train provides diverse health-related information, such as the importance of washing hands frequently. The goal of the campaign is to help the public access health-related information easily. As public interest in health continues to rise in the nation due to an aging society and the spread of infectious diseases. Some of the subway waiting rooms double as makeshift consultation offices. About once a week, passengers can receive information on Alzheimer's and consult with a doctor. The Seoul subway train featuring health tips will operate for two months. Authorities will decide on whether to extend its operation based on the public's response. A film festival has opened in South Korea presenting documentaries capturing a close-up of life inside North Korea. Let's take a look at some of the up-to-date scenes taken in the reclusive country. In late autumn of 2013, when inter-Korean tensions were high over the distribution of anti-North Korean leaflets by South Korean civic groups, a Korean-Canadian director traveled to North Korea with a hidden camera. He cautiously brought up the issue of the anti-North Korean leaflets, but received the cold shoulder. In North Korea, the leaflets are taboo. They are not to be seen or talked about. North Korea is known to be the world's top producer of propaganda films. North Korean actors boast their unique acting styles to a foreign movie director. Upon meeting a foreigner, students pledge their allegiance to the North Korean regime in English. Testifying to the tragic reality of Korea's national division, the DMZ International Documentary Film Festival will run in the cities of Koyang and Paju in Gyeonggi Province until September 24. The movie Veteran has drawn the largest number of moviegoers this year, outdoing assassination. With this achievement, Veteran has also become the sixth greatest drawing film in Korean history. This and more coming up in today's entertainment news. Let's take a look. Korean blockbuster Veteran drew a total of 12.78 million moviegoers as of last weekend, surpassing the 12.67 million viewers for Assassination and making it the biggest box office success of the year. Veteran has thus become the sixth most watched Korean movie of all time, following earlier hits like Roaring Currents, Ode to My Father and The Host. Attention remains focused on how long Veteran and Assassination will dominate at the box office as they are still playing at movie theaters. Rock band CM Blue has collaborated with internationally renowned collage artist Sammy Slavink on the jacket design for a new special album. Slavink handmade images for the boy band's second studio album, Together, which is slated for release on September 30th. Slavink is a Europe-based collage artist, and this marks the first time he has designed the artwork for a South Korean album. Singer Park Jae Bom will unexpectedly unveil a single album before the release of a full-length album. Park's agency said that the artist's new song "Solo" will be made public through major music websites on September 24th. Both men and women use moisturizing skincare products on a regular basis these days. Today, we're taking a look at some tips on using moisturizing creams and then how to address eye twitching. 
As keeping the skin moisturized gains more and more emphasis, moisturizing creams claiming over 100 hours of effectiveness have appeared on the market. But applying moisturizing creams too frequently can deprive the skin of its natural moisture. That's because moisturizing creams contain various chemicals. 화학 성분들이 피부에 장시간 남아 있을 경우에는 모공을 막아서 여러 가지 면포성 여드름과 같은 피부염을 유발할 수 있습니다. It's important to apply moisturizing cream right after washing your face before the skin becomes dehydrated. Do not wash your face while showering because hot water makes the skin dry. Wash your face separately with cool water. Also, drink plenty of water to stay hydrated. With the widespread use of computers and smartphones, eye problems have become common in modern day society. A growing number of people complain of eye twitching, which is exacerbated by fatigue and stress. 칼슘의 체내 농도가 떨어지게 되면 근육의 수축과 이완이 연관되는 부분에 부작용이 생기죠. 따라서 눈꺼풀 떨림이 유발되게 됩니다. Magnesium plays a crucial role in preventing eye twitching. Bananas are among the best foods that contain magnesium, but try to eat ripe bananas that have black spots. Drinking milk, which contains 100 milligrams of magnesium per 100 milliliters, along with soybeans or black sesame seeds, is also helpful. Some people experience inconveniences due to their eyelids drooping. This condition may not only affect the way you look, but can also be detrimental to your overall eye health. Eyelid drooping can lead to optical disorders such as amblyopia and astigmatism, as well as squinting, which causes wrinkles to form on your face. 눈 주위에 눈가 마사지를 하시는 것도 크게 도움이 됩니다. 엄지와 검지를 이용해 동그랗게 만들어 눈의 아래 부분과 윗 부분을 좌우로 자극해 주는 방법이 있습니다. Protecting your eyes before the onset of serious problems is essential to keeping them healthy. Now we'll take a look at the markets, followed by the world weather. And that's it for this edition of News Today. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you again at the same time tomorrow. Goodbye.